You're watching ISTV English News. I'm Subala Kangabam. Let's see the top stories first. Officials dissatisfied over government's repeated pressure on IMC to shift food market shed only within Imphal City. And PWD to build three foot bridges in Imphal City for public convenience. And now the news in detail. The officials of IMC have been dissatisfied over the government's repeated pressure on the IMC to allocate a place for the fruit market shed near Bairodan Maxwell School within Imphal City. According to reports received by the ISTB News, the license of the 24 non-local fruit sellers was cancelled by the IMC on April 31. Following the cancellation of their license, the students and women's wings of the JCILPS vandalized the market shed on May 2. Police arrested some of those involved in the vandalism. On May 4, Mahut Minister T.A. Sham Kumar held talks with the JCILPS leaders. The JCILPS agitation settled after the minister assured unconditional release of the arrested members and shift the market shed within a month. Since then, the Mahut has given instructions to the IMC twice to shift the market shed within Imphal City. However, the house of the IMC rejected the instructions in both instances. The Mahut had put pressure on the IMC to shift the market shed near the Directorate of Family Welfare. Later, Secretary of Mahut M. Joy gave a written instruction to the Commissioner of IMC to shift the market near the toilet complex near BT Park. According to reports received from the IMC, the corporation has rejected the government's instruction twice already. However, the government doesn't seem to have stopped pressurizing the IMC on the matter. Jam dagi lakpa mayang mayam budi sakak piraga ngasi Manipur de lady ba maite nupi kunai asi budi kongong na basi mama oibi kaya na pin daba kaya mayong nari ngasi police nat imain be mayam bu koitan tali adu bu horian di ngahagle raga di yum dhan kipa matam dadi masagi sak masagi laik tam na kala idagi pi gani kala idagi hona gani haidana akiba ikai ba punna magbu hunto aga. ไม่ได้มาซะอําตังเยียงบิวผุดปาตะพะมะกะซุโคละกะซุมวยกิดีนะฮาละมุกเตซุซิเดซุกะโนตอบะกานเตซุถุกายบะโคกายบะตอรก
Also, reducing the size of the three huge traffic islands in an updated structure will not only reduce inconvenience of the commuters, but will also help in beautifying Imphal city. Road safety ki matang da hui ki foot over bridge sana basu ministry na sanction taurakle. Do da saagado ba jaga sing na hui ki LIC mamang do ki BT road hui ki flyover bridge. Ei do ki hek machine adwai da mana ke sampata do ga sina taba sanction na mada na hui ki state fund basu sanction na ma hana ki leire machine na hui ki governor mamang ki dama saaraga na mana infal college mamang saasi habi ki. के प्रपोजल हम दिए कोई दस रुपए की डबली दस ले रहे Volunteers of the Sam Imphal West stormed the Chief Minister Secretary yet asking the government to arrest them as well. It is worth mentioning that some members of the Sam were arrested by police on charges of vandalism of National University complex. A tough confrontation occurred between the protesters and the police near the Chief Minister Secretary yet. Police dropped the protesters away till Kashampato where they picked up Vice President of Desam, Wahingbam Birchandra, Vice President of Desam, Imphal West, Abung and some volunteers of the students' organization. On the other hand, another group of protesters led by some leaders of Desam tried to storm the Chief Minister's Secretariat from CC Higher Secondary School. However, police compelled the protesters to retreat from the school gate. MP of Rajya Sabha KSH Bhavananda met retired IAS officer Helim Chaudhuri today. The 90-year-old Helim Chaudhuri appreciated the government led by Chief Minister N. Biren. He said, Chief Minister N. Biren is a person who works for the welfare of the people. Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, T.H. Vasanta today met former ZEO of Education Department, Ngangom Nobo, as part of meeting personalities from the state to seek suggestion and feedback on the government's work. Speaking to media, N.G. Nobo expressed that there has been drastic changes in the state ever since NBRN led government came to power. Health Minister L.J. Indikumar asserted that preparations have been set to open a trauma centre in Technopol district at the earliest. With the coming up of the healthcare sector in Moray, certain changes will be witnessed in the coming years. The minister was speaking to the media persons during his inspection visit at health centres and other places in Moray. He further said, it is important to set up proper health centres with the coming up of Trans-Asian Highway and Act is Policy in Moray. It is also necessary to expand a primary health center near Moray Bazaar as well as to provide quarters for nurses and doctors too. A laboratory center to test imported food items from Myanmar has been almost completed with sufficient infrastructure. Efforts are also being made to fill up the back-end manpower in the laboratory center to check imported food items under Food Safety Act. Fencing will be constructed around Moray sub district hospitals campus to prevent thievery. A proper site for construction of 50 vetted Ayush hospital which was planned to be constructed at Zongmulong near Kuding Thabi by the previous government will be reviewed again. He further said, Yatri Niwas under Directorate of Tourism Government of Manipur near Moray town has been handed over to the health department in May for a short period. It will be properly maintained to set as IP for the department. The government will take up biomedical waste management plans to focus mainly on health centers and sub-district hospitals. On the other hand, drones will be utilized for any emergency to transport medications on a trial basis. The minister also visited many places related with art and culture and asserted to set up fencing for the said places. <laughs> มันมีมุ่งเลยแต่องค์มันมีเสียคุยช่วยน้ำมันมาช่วยเห็นกันนี่มันมีหลังเกย์อินฟราสตรักเจอร์เลยแต่วิธีวัดกี่วัดเนี
signal pi rai moi madu ki equipment me am lep amagi changum to ki equipment pi rai ki habi potum lai to pa pa mana chithi ma koi jare aduga masita koi drone facilities masi ki se healthcare system ki set amoi na hatin na bena koi kan na koi madu to gi madu ki demo to na bhai ki matam thik to na ko to ngare bad lai li le tha si mang to koi demo to ning kali Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Karam Sham has extended financial help of 1 lakh rupees to the state topper of engineering drawing subject in class 12 examination science stream. The help came just a couple of days after news of subject topper Wahengbam Yumganba Mitai was telecast on ISTV News. Wahengbam Yumganba of Kumbi Laibung Makong is a civil engineering expert who doesn't have a favorable financial background for his further studies in the desired field. The Minister the minister's wife, K. Devala, also accompanied the minister in his visit to the house of Yumgan Bamite. Minister Karam Sham said he decided to extend the help after coming across Yumgan Bamite's news and his family condition on ISTP News. Engineer Tamu, a fellow engineer, we do. I am Matamanga Nana, where Matunda, Horopam called Viadalo. The Lyra, we moon the Gihora Kiba, I do a Lyra, but Iman Honor Kiba, I do Nasi Ainalize, Nanka engineer, when Matun Kap Nati, Nanga Hain, Matixaba, for me, Amakura, but Matunda, the Lepaki winner, State Chiguina, Kayumba, Faba Kara. Wahengbam Yumgan Bamitai thank Minister Karam Shyam for his kind gesture. Tambanga Mani have a so but has a Matanja is had a highlighted and was a Matus man Matin Pang because they Tamoji Sakto Pomas Posey. The Tambanga Magadi Hena Bias level of Nazagana. And before we move on, let's take a short commercial break. We will be right back. Stay tuned. SN Girls Academy Class 11 Science Tam Nanabagi Emission from Thazare. Schools are qualified where a Mapung Pana train to Boza Singh Tapi Tambiri. Mapung Pana Sam Sarba Classroom Amade Kuzukulai Fulam Suna Tamlava Laboratory Say. Sang nine a weekly in the monthly test bank to please. Subject Kuding Mapan the expand counseling period. Nubi Masas in the Mapung Pava education in Mangal Pibugaluina. Fajaba Moral Character Tambiduna. Lamdam Sidan Nupi Singh Tawakalanamagi Pandam the Linkaliba. XN Girls Academy Sagolban and Shiro. Welcome back and moving on. Author of the recently published book, Love, Lust and Loyalty, Yuimi Vasum has stated that a lot of children are victims of sexual abuse, but most of them keep the ordeal under wrap due to the fear of social stigma and taboo. Speaking exclusively to the ISTB News, Yuimi Vasum said her book, Love, Lust and Loyalty, is about forgiveness, yet a book of awakening the victims of sexual abuse and encourage them to stand up and speak up. Yumi Vasum, a victim of sexual abuse at a very tender age, wanted to use her books as a tool of spreading awareness among the parents and guardians of sexually abused children and opening up an aura of resistance. Also not a being able to love myself, so um, I decided that um, I've had enough of this and then people need, uh, need to start saying no. So hopefully uh, victims out there who are listening to me and who have read this book would also uh, start to say no when they read the book. President of Janata Dal United, Han Kan Pao, has categorically stated that JDU will not support citizenship amendment bill even if the party is an ally of BJP-led NDA government at the center. Addressing a press meet held at its office at New Chekon, he said, Deputy Commissioner of Imphal East did not give permission to state a sit-in in front of the party office today against the proposed bill. The sit-in protest has been scheduled on June 13. The statement of the Chief Minister N. Biren that the bill will not harm Manipur is not trustworthy. Chief Minister also did not reply to a request to discuss the three threat bear with the party representatives led by National General Secretary K.C. Tiagi. 
Members of the Electricity Employees Union today staged a sit-in demonstration in protest demanding implementation of the 7th Pay Commission in the state. General Secretary of Electricity Employees Union, T. Lamfel Meitei, has warned of statewide power shutdown stir if the government fails to implement 7th Pay Commission in the state. And on the other hand, employees of MSPDCL state sit in demonstration in front of secure office demanding implementation of 7th Pay Commission in the state. Lampolakpam Brojendro, an employee, said the protest demonstration was organized showing solidarity to the agitation launched by JSC of Amtuk and MGO. Chief Engineer of PWD Kurajam Temba has stated that only 1% of the total number of vehicles worldwide is found in India, but 6% of the worldwide accident occurred in India. He was speaking at the interaction workshop on hot milk thermoplastic road making and road safety devices jointly organized by Sunrise Overseas and PWD at the conference hall of PWD. Project Director of EPA Y Joy Kumar, Additional Chief Engineer Rural KH Dhanchandra, Manager of NHIDC Sanjit and SP of Traffic Police KH Sharma among others attended the workshop. Chief Engineer KH Temba further maintained that some people are against long road median, which actually is for prevention of accident. He also added that engineers must take good care of road construction where soil is weak. In connection with World Environment Day, Cooperative Minister named Chakib Gen planted tree saplings at the complex of Registrar of Cooperative Society, Lamphil Pat. Principal Secretary J.C. Ram Tanga also attended the program. Minister named Chakib Gen said it is necessary to plant trees with the support of the people to protect the environment. People must be aware that since we depend on plants and trees, it is important to protect forests and its surroundings. More Consumer Club and Socialist Students Union Manipur jointly organized a drive to stop using non-biodegradable plastics in More Town. The drive started from 7 in the morning along with More Police and Commando from More Bazaar to Indo-Myanmar Friendship Gate No. 1 and Gate No. 2. President of More Consumer Club, Saibol and advisor of Socialist Students Union Manipur, N. Sanahal, appealed to the people to extend support in the drive to stop using plastics. Felicitation program of position holders and high scorers of Heritage Convent Schools located at Uripok in Class 10 Board Examination was held at the Auditorium Hall of Manipur State Film Development Society today. Executive Director of the school, Sanjim Bam Bikram, Principal Anita, teachers and students of the school, including parents, attended the felicitation program. One lakh rupees each were awarded to 20 position holder and 22nd position holder of the school. One laptop each were given to those students who scored more than 85% in the class 10 examination. Executive Director Sanjim Bam Bikram said the achievement of the school is due to the hard work of the students and parents as well as dedication of the teachers. And before we wind up the top stories once again. Officials dissatisfied over government's repeated pressure on IMC to shift fruit market shed only with an impulse today. And PWD to build three foot bridges in Impulse City for public convenience. Thank you so much for joining with us and good night.